Feinstein v. Crutcher, uh, United States Court of Appeals, 10th Circuit, 496 F.3D, 1139. Relevant facts. Defendant appellant Mike Crutcher was filed suit against him as he was the Commissioner of Health or otherwise noted as his case as the Oklahoma State Department of Health. He appealed a decision from the district court judgment that said states, uh, state laws barring same-sex adoptions already finalized in other states unconstitutional. The Oklahoma State Department of Health also appealed the district court's orders to re revise a birth certificate for a plaintiff appellee who was born in Oklahoma but adopted in California by a same-sex couple. Substant substantive facts. There were three same-sex couples who filed suit in this case, Mr. Greg Hample, and Mr. Eswaya, and Lucy and uh, Jennifer Doyle, and Anne Margo and Heather Feinstein. In cross mo motions for summary judgment, the district court found that Mr. Hample and Mr. Eswaya lacked standing to bring action. The rest of the plant plaintiffs sued the Oklahoma State Department of Health, the Attorney General, and the Governor on grounds that the state law Barring recognition for same-sex couples to adopt is unconstitutional under the full faith and credit clause. Procedural facts. The district court ruled in favor of Lucy and Jennifer Doyle and Anne Mar Mar Magro and Heather Feinstein claiming that the state law barring rec recognition of same-sex couples adoptions was unconstitutional under the full faith and credit clause because the adoptions were finalized in another state. And because of the full faith and credit laws, it's, it's basically that uh, other states have to recognize and uh, recognize other states' final judgments in uh, court cases. The Oklahoma State Department of Health was the only one to appeal on grounds that Ann Magro and Heather Feinstein uh, had, had lack standing and that the state law was not unconstitutional. The 10th Circuit Court of Appeals affirmed the lower, cursed, lower court's decision that the state law was unconstitutional but reversed the standing of Anne Margro and Heather Feinstein based that based on the grounds that Anne Margro was the biological mother and Heather could not point to any situation where any authority of a parent had been questioned. So basically, uh, they reversed that standing of uh, Anne Margro, so they lost their standing in the case. Applicable laws question. The laws in question in this case is the full uh, faith and credit law. This law states that other states must follow other states' final court's decisions. Remedy sought. Plaintiffs in this case wanted recognition from the Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, the state of Oklahoma, that they were the legal parents of the children and they wanted that on their birth certificates or they wanted the recognition from Oklahoma. In an issue, in a case inviting, involving final judgments from other state courts, the court should determine that the full faith and credit law has been violated where the plaintiffs have reasonable standing and jurisdiction to do so. Holding the court, the court should affirm the full faith and credit clause for the plaintiffs Lucy and Jennifer Doyle. They did so because they had the proper standing uh, to uh, to go to action for it. Reasoning: the only reason that the courts rule for Lucy and Jennifer Doyle is because they had the standing to do so. This is the difference between them and the other two same-sex couples. Rule of law. The lower and higher courts in this case affirmed the full faith and credit law for the plaintiffs who had the proper standing to do so. This sets and follows the precedent that states must recognize other states' final court judgments. And in the book, there's uh, some case questions that I would like to answer. And the first one is, why did the authors of the Constitution create the full faith and credit clause? Well, early, when you start reading about the full faith and credit clause in the book of the chapter, it says that they wanted to do this so that we could act like states wouldn't act as independent or we'll all act more unionly. And if that, for example, one person in one state would um, not follow the final judgment of like the of the state, he could just go to another state. And if that state had a different law, they wouldn't have to recognize the other state's final judgment. So the founding fathers, like they saw this, they for, they for like foresaw this problem and they made this uh, the full faith and credit uh, law in order for uh, states to work together.